Welcome to the 17th CONCACAF Gold Cup Final. And in 2023, our final features Mexico seeking their ninth title and Panama their first. Beneath a one million square foot canopy at SoFi Stadium, it is an open air venue with cover 82 degrees in Southern California. Tonight marks the seventh final held in the Los Angeles area. This one, the first in Inglewood. How Mexico got here, their loss to Qatar proved merely a minor stumbling block. Wins over Costa Rica and Jamaica by a combined 5-0 margin to reach the final. For Panama, a much more difficult road. They also stumbled in their group finale against El Salvador, dominated Qatar, and then took the United States to extra time, eventually to penalties, to find their way into the final for the third time in their history. What a magnificent spectacle this will be tonight. The eyes of the region, the eyes of the world, and 70,000 sets of eyes peering down on this venue. SoFi Stadium has hosted the Super Bowl, the college football playoff. Paul McCartney, BTS, Bad Bunny, soon to be Taylor Swift, Beyonce, and more. It is exactly what Tinseltown had in mind when they built a venue for their now two NFL teams, the Los Angeles Rams and the Los Angeles Chargers. In just three years' time, it'll prepare to host the FIFA World Cup. Tonight, its first major continental final, its chance to prove that it's ready for this moment. A sold-out crowd of over 70,000. Mexico and Panama can only hope that the Copa Oro final the Gold Cup final lives up to the billing here this evening. This Mexican team has had such a fascinating last month and a half. After all, they're now on their third manager of the past calendar year. This Mexican side reaches its 11th final, and the reality is they are expected to win. And this crowd is heavily in their favor. They seek their ninth title. Gold Cup anthem that has rung around this region for the past month. With Akon leading the artists onto the field to be performed at the beginning of our opening ceremonies here tonight.
an epic beginning for our final Copa Oro de la CONCACAF. The CONCACAF Gold Cup is just minutes away. Mexico taking on Panama. Good evening, Mike Watts on hand for the call tonight. These two teams are in such different places than they were a month ago, certainly a decade ago. These sides have met in two semifinals, but this the first time we'll see them compete with this trophy leading them onto the field. This is a moment where legends are made. Legends carry the trophy on, and without doubt, legends will eventually carry it off. Soon to be hoisted for the 17th time. These Panamanian players have a chance to make history for their country, for their area of the region. No Central American nation has ever lifted the CONCACAF Gold Cup. This is their third attempt at it. No Central American team has tried more often in a final. They lost in 2005 and 2013 to the United States. Memo Ochoa on Thursday turned 38. And with age comes wisdom. He's won four of these trophies already. Only Landon Donovan and Demarcus Beasley have won this trophy as often. Memo can now move into a rung all his own with a fifth title with Mexico here tonight. 70,000, a sellout. To make waves in Los Angeles, it must be truly and genuinely special. This matchup fits that bill. Panama take the field. Is their first title just 90 minutes away? Quintero, one of the players that featured in their last final a decade ago. Henry Martin scored in the second minute of the semifinal. Does he bring fireworks tonight as well? Lineups, anthem, kickoff to come. Anthem of Mexico. Favor de ponerse de pie para el himno nacional de México. for the National Anthem of Panama. Favor de continuar de pie para el himno nacional de Panamá.
the emotion of this moment. It's written on the faces of these Panamanian players, the Mexicans, and the thousands in the stands here at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood, California, outside of Los Angeles. Six players from the Nations League third place game against Panama start tonight for Mexico. 38-year-old Memo Ochoa in goal. Montes missed that third place game. Gallardo scored the winner against Panama in Nations League. Free kick extraordinaire Luis Chavez joined by Edson Alvarez in midfield. Antuna starts on the right. Pineda won the Greek double last year. Martin the fastest ever goal in a knockout Gold Cup match in the semi-final against Costa Rica. Anibal Godoy, Guillermo Ochoa, joins Saeed Martinez, who works his second straight Gold Cup final. The 31-year-old Honduran has worked the Champions Cup, Nations League, and Gold Cup finals over the past 14 months. He has become the top referee for the big occasion in CONCACAF. There's the VAR room, second Gold Cup final, where that'll be in use. Ricardo Montero of Costa Rica, assisted by Selvin Brown of Honduras. The lineup for Panama, Orlando Mosqueda retains the shirt for the entirety of the tournament. Defended by Cummings and Escobar, combined for 165 international caps. Barcenas and Davis provide the width. Kataskia, could genuinely be the golden ball winner. Godoy captains the side. And Quintero, should he score, would be the oldest player to ever bag a goal in a Gold Cup final. His 135th cap, his second Gold Cup final. He and Godoy have been there and done that. Carasquilla, what a tournament. This Panamanian side, if there were doubts, they've been dispatched. Their win in penalties against the United States has placed them in rarefied air. This Mexican team, so much pressure, but Jimmy Lozano seemingly the perfect anecdote. Believing in the process of staying with what got you here. Yes, they moved on from their manager after Nations League, but they went to their Olympic coach. And a number of these players have been grown, developed by him. Los Angeles, count down to kickoff. Who makes the save that changes the Ten, complexion nine, of this game? Eight, seven, it's eight, here. Five, Is it Panama's four, first or Mexico's three, ninth? Two, one. The 17th CONCACAF Gold Cup final is underway in Los Angeles. Mexico and Panama. What a tremendous atmosphere here tonight. Montez was suspended for the third place game in Nations League. It was a disheartening defeat. The hands of the United States. Panama outplayed by Canada in their semifinal. Mexico scored in just the fourth minute. Jesus Gallardo, the only goal of the match. They're in third place. Alvarez, the pride of Ajax. Montez, Sanchez, Romo. Mohan Vasquez. is away from Quintero, remains with Luis Chavez, taken away. Referee saw it play on, ball through, Montez is beat, it's Diaz! Diaz from behind is stripped. It was nearly a Panamanian dream start. Fajardo won it back, but did so by committing a foul. All turned around, Cesar Montez. And Diaz, as he tried to break down Memo Ochoa, just could not corral the ball.
Henry Martin's record is safe. He scored in the second minute against Jamaica. A 3-0 victory. One of the best performances of the year by Mexico. Turned over here by Vasquez. Escobar. And the story for Panama, one of stick to -itiveness. a number of federations would have moved on from their manager, failing to qualify for the World Cup, finishing just behind Costa Rica for the Intercontinental Playoff. But not Panama, and all that long-term investment they've made in the past three years Maybe about 90 minutes away from bearing the ultimate fruit, their first ever CONCACAF title, Andrade. Snap down to Antuna. Godoy. Edgar Barcenas. Fajardo. Quintero. Carasquilla. Davis. Davis got the cross through. Mexico has surrounded it. And now cleared it. A foul from Davis. Has three assists in this tournament. Mexico does this right tonight. He and Barcenas are marked men. After all, this is a Panamanian side that had to call in two reserves after the group stage due to injuries at the outside back position to Cesar Blackman and Michael Murillo. San Memo now is 25th appearance, passes Andres Guardado most for Mexico in the Gold Cup. I think it's deafening now. Free kick, Mexico. Chavez to ground. Marasquilla saying, I didn't get him. Neda and Chavez behind the ball. Pineda, Romo, Alvarez went up for it. Carasquilla, take it away, Pineda. Lozano clearly brought that from training. Andrade, Mosqueda, Harold Cummings. Panama have a very interesting dichotomy. They can play some really beautiful football against Mexico. Is that the most prudent? They've shown the ability to be direct. 
They smashed Qatar with three goals in short order. Off the left-hand side through Ismail Diaz, the fastest hat trick in tournament history. That's a high boot. Mosqueda, Andrade. Well worked through the pressure of Mexico. Quintero. Davis. Andrade. Juan Fajardo. Barcenas. Karaskia. Both sides have been fairly adamant. What we saw a month ago in Las Vegas won't bear much semblance to what we see tonight. They're not down, but nothing more for Pineda. Barcenas. The boy went up instead, Montez. And Tuna. For one, the crowd far more engaged than they were in the Nations League third place game. Gallardo nearly ushered through. Missed by Pineda. Chavez. Pineda. Levies this off. A blast deflected from Romo. Second effort turned away from Pineda. Aimed at Romo, not to be from Chavez. Alvarez. Quintero settles, given back to Mexico. Spinning free Sanchez. Sanchez, Romo, Carasquilla. Knotted upfield. Quintero on the run. The 35 year old pumps the brakes, has support. It's Godoy. Stabs forward, back heel, Diaz, free kick, Panama. <laughs> the sides have met in two semifinals, never the final. Gabby Torres, a brace in 2013 to lead Panama to a win. It fell in the final to the U.S. 2015, Mexico got a brace from Andres Guardado. To win in extra time. Johan Vasquez, first player booked tonight. Highly unlikely that it'll be brute force that undoes Memo Ochoa. Such the nature of one of the region's most legendary goalkeepers. Davis or Barcenas will put it in play. It's Eric Davis off the wall. Barcenas follows right at Ochoa. And the first effort on frame for Panama. The leftovers from a set piece.
Montez. Gallardo. Chavez. Vasquez. Chavez. Jesus Gallardo. Fajardo in the way. Gallardo nearly kept it. Barcenas. was a despondent Mexican fan base has really responded to what Jaime Lozano has helped this group achieve. The vast majority of this team did feature in Nations League. Now soft Romo deflects kindly and down the line Diaz. Diaz slicing by Diaz. Montez was there, corner Panama. And they're starting to throw real punches here. Jorge Sanchez sent flying. The U.S. was only able to undo Mexico in the Gold Cup final with the one goal in extra time, Miles Robinson. And a free kick from Kellen Acosta. That was in Las Vegas two summers ago. Barcenas offers. Carasquilla recovers. Clips it through. Fajardo brought it down. The offside flag is indeed up. Davis. Andrade. Romo chasing Moscata. Quarter hour complete in Los Angeles. Mexico. Their 11th appearance in the final. They've won eight. Through for Jesus Gallardo. On side of Mosqueda, out the other side. Out of the reach of Sanchez. Montez. Lost by Martin. Hardly had a role in the game yet. Hit off by Quintero. Davis. Diaz. Thomas Christensen imploring more width off the right side. Huge diagonal for Davis if he can get there. Cuts inside Diaz. Diaz. Harasquilla. Good boy.
Cummings, Escobar, Karaskia, Davis. Options percolating, Davis denied, Godoy. Davis, he has attempt to spin Montez. Cummings, forward from Romo. Henry Martin. Chavez, Gallardo. Snuck away by Karaskia. Edson Alvarez recovers. How could a team that's won this tournament a record eight times be down on their luck? Three straight continental finals they've lost. All through out there from Pineda. Quintero. Pineda. Pineda zigzagging. And Tuna! There were two options, Antuna far and away, more likely. Diaz couldn't win it back. Sanchez, Antuna. Lifted by Andrade. Alvarez. Montez. Alvarez. Arrow for Martin. Andrade kept it away from Antuna. Beautiful work by Diaz. His through ball laid back to Ochoa. Header through Pineda. Everybody twisted, free kick. It is a yellow card. Cummings had cover behind. There he is, like a pretzel, trying to twist himself back into shape. Bring down Orbelin Pineda. Cummings is down. Look at the chance a moment ago. First really good one for Mexico of the match. About 20 minutes in. And Mosqueda had a good read on it. Handled the uh, awkward deflection. Because the yellow card was on Cummings, you can see the referee saying that Saeed Martinez had to leave the field of play for this set piece. And that is an enormous loss for Panama. Panama, despite this deafening roar, a constant at SoFi Stadium, 
They have to communicate effectively here. Bajardo, Andrade, Carasquilla, Diaz, have all aligned in the wall. Luis Chavez, truly special should he hit this. It is Chavez, it is off the wall, it's Pineda, that's denied. Cummings returns, and now it's Fajardo on the wrong end. Well, down by Chavez, the cross toward Romo. Montez, Sanchez. Midway point of the first half, the ball in. Romo whisking and cleared. It's well over Martin. Alvarez. Vasquez. Mexico in reverse. Martin holding up play. Pineda. Alvarez allowing Antuna. Antuna through. Sanchez got around. Mosqueda scoops the ball. Saeed Martinez not convinced. VAR watches everything. Was that errant leg from Cummings who's on a yellow card? Worthy of a look at the monitor. It was not. Diaz. Edgar Barcenas. Davis. Deep. Ochoa. Handball, free kick, Panama. Say Martinez. And Quintero and Sanchez, no more. It's hard done if you're Pineda. Yellow card, Thomas Christensen, the Panamanian manager. And he become more of a folk legend than he is right now. He called this the most important game that his career has given him. The 50-year-old Dane who played for the Spanish national team very briefly, perhaps best known as a manager for his time at Leeds. He's piloted this Panamanian team that missed the World Cup so heartbreakingly their first appearance in Russia in 2018. The back to back final fours in CONCACAF. Romo off that of Karaskia, but Mosqueda was wise. Martin still a quiet and perhaps inauspicious start. Barcenas, ball flick through. Fajardo, Fajardo laid it off, nobody was there. He would have been onside too. Escobar, Barcenas. Davis, met by Montez. Parasquia responds in kind. Barcenas. Okay, 
Peter Parson has appeared at that World Cup five years ago. The 29-year-old from Cologne spent four years in the Spanish second division before arriving at Mazatlan. He is the only Panamanian in Mexico. A handful of players that feature here in the U.S. Parasquilla for Houston, Godoy for Nashville. Into the penalty area, the clearance bangs off of Cummings and back to Ochoa. Well, this could be a real awkward moment. Sanchez spinning around and banging it off of Harold Cummings. Cummings in, Karaskia up and away. Second effort still. Intero. Now on to Diaz. Is this pan of the moment? Diaz. Offline. Good work by Fajardo and Quintero. Trying to allow the hot hand of sorts. Smile Diaz. Carry the torch in the final third. It is right about 90%, maybe more, Mexican fans. Despite Panama being here for the first time, the Mexican populace aware that an investment in a CONCACAF final ticket usually pays a pretty decent dividend. Look at sold out SoFi Stadium from the view of Mexico's most capped player at the Gold Cup. Tuna turned down Sanchez. Gallardo. Ball down the line from Chavez. Gallardo offering. Ball brought down Antuna. Antuna deflected by Godoy. Still it's on for Mexico, Romo for Alvarez. Free kick conceded by Jorge Sanchez. Sanchez and Alvarez featuring with Ajax. Here's Antuna. Well handled by Godoy. Half an hour complete in LA. Mexico and Panama all square. That's a foul from Quintero. President of FIFA, the president of CONCACAF in attendance. Johnny Infantino and Victor Montagliani are both in the building. That's all you really need to know about the occasion. Quite remarkable. That checked up. Davis. It's a miss at clearance. That's a tad more convincing. Montez brought it down. Short lived. Davis brought down. It continues through Antuna. Antuna, Jan Pineda, recycled for Gallardo. Good step by Fajardo and a painful step from Pineda. Panama have held their own. If you've watched the 2023 edition of this tournament, 
That should not be surprising. You could argue, on the whole, they've been the best team this CONCACAF Gold Cup. And Tuna, Pineda, Romo, Romo in behind Martin! The opening goal belongs to Mexico at this Gold Cup final. He has scored now the fastest Gold Cup knockout goal in history in the semifinal. He may have the winning goal of the final. Martin started this by dropping in. His header allowed Mexico to advance. And his run level with Fidel Escobar. Romo, a magnificent curling effort in behind. And Martin, so much pressure on the number nine for Mexico. His 10th international goal coming off a remarkable campaign at Club America. Mexico won, Panama nil. He scored 27 goals. In the previous Operatura and Clausura and Liga MX, unstoppable for Club America. And here he is for El Tri, restoring pride, knowing the moment. It'll be checked, as always. Take a look at this angle. Oh, wow. Martin from an offside position on the initial header. Wow. A stunning turn of events. It's not the ball in from Romo that undoes Mexico. It's the ball from Ochoa. Offside. Well, it's in the buildup. There is no goal without Martin checking back. And it's not by a wide margin, but it is enough. It begins anew. Godoy, Carasquilla, Quintero. Romo and Alvarez help to take it away. Edson Alvarez. This is Pineda. Swerving into the back of Escobar. Now you want to whip this crowd into a frenzy. VAR. Taking an extended look. It's the right call. You would imagine there's a number of fans here who are baffled at why and haven't seen what we have. Fair thought for Saeed Martinez. You can still hear the whistle. I don't know you can hear anything that's rustling through his vocal cords. Martinez. 
Karaskia. Tied up right there. Swipe across the face. It's good officiating, especially if it works. It wasn't going to be easy for Mexico. They acknowledged as much in the lead up. This is a program clear about how they play, how they play with one another. Into Antuna. Antuna deflects off Andrade. And Pineda ushers out. Pineda dumped by Barcenas. Free kick, Mexico. All eyes on that man, Montez. Just one goal in his international career. It was against Panama. Pineda gestures. Well, whisked across, header high from Vasquez. The service by Chavez. A bad idea. It was unmarked. Andrade got caught up in traffic, which if you're familiar with the greater Los Angeles metro area, it's hardly a coincidence. Guided by Escobar. First final ever here at SoFi Stadium. One of uh, American soccer's, and therefore, CONCACAF's heart and soul venues is here in LA, the Rose Bowl. Ball down the right side. Sanchez cutting back. Romo spins. Romo delivers. And bicycle kicked out by Barcenas. Alvarez retains. Up by Chavez. Out of the reach of Pineda. Well, Romo did so much good work there. And Barcenas is acrobatic. Concluding effort here as he could muster. Approaching halftime in L.A. This venue will be one of 16 to host the upcoming North American World Cup in 2026. We'll have to take out some of the seating here. Better prepare the venue for that moment. Edson Alvarez, Vasquez, Chavez, Ochoa. This is Gallardo, plowing upfield as Pineda in front. My pass is Barcenas, seeks Romo. Romo whipping across, what a save, Martin the follow, didn't go, Mosqueda, enormous in goal for Panama. The dummy was brilliant, Pineda pouring through, Martin 
denied on the doorstep. What an enormous save, and Escobar joining Mosqueda and trying to close down Martin. If not for Escobar's deflection, that's likely in. L3 showing their teeth. A wonderful goal from Henry Martin. Deemed offside in the buildup 10 minutes ago. Scoreless here. Romo. Another block shot. He sees Diaz under it. Quintero tried to return. Montez. And ball. Pineda. Foul. Alberto Carasquilla. Montez. Chavez. Beyond Martin. Three added minutes. And Tuna. A collision with Diaz. Saeed Martinez is unimpressed. Escobar, Mosqueda. In the events of the first half, Panama would be ecstatic to go in level, but Diaz has other ideas. All thrust away and down to Luis Chavez. Barcenas got a piece. Barcenas angles for the end line. Swings the cross for Fajardo, straight into the air. Montez beneath it. Diaz, no. Follow, oh, out of the reach. From Godoy of Ochoa. Taken out of the air. It is off target. It is untouched.
It's a matter of seconds that separates us from halftime now. Montez and Vasquez, both center backs. Cummings, a center back for Panama, will play the second half on yellow cards. Ochoa sends it away and sends us to halftime. How's that for drama? CONCACAF on its biggest stage, sold out SoFi Stadium, has seen quite the spectacle. Panama could just as easily be behind, and perhaps they'll feel in ways it is divine that they are on level terms. Jimmy Lozano off to the dressing room. His job, even tomorrow, in doubt, regardless of how this final concludes. Halftime in Los Angeles in the 17th ever CONCACAF Gold Cup Final. Panama nil, Mexico nil.
Panama retake the field at SoFi Stadium in Los Angeles. Their first Continental Trophy is genuinely within reach. Their third CONCACAF Gold Cup Final. Mexico seek their ninth title in 11 finals in this competition. Coming off a disgraceful performance in Nations League by their own standards. Their worst World Cup finish in 44 years. They could regain their place atop the mountain in CONCACAF. Nil-nil at halftime between Panama and Mexico. Mexico entering off a 3-0 win over Jamaica in the semi-final, a 2-0 win over Costa Rica in the quarterfinal. Panama slayed Qatar 4-0 in the round of eight. And a wild 1-1 finish against the U.S., 5-4 in penalties. A goal from Ivan Anderson, who wasn't even with the team till the knockout rounds. Jesus Ferreira, a wonderful volleyed equalizer. They know what it means to go all the way. And we'll do so now. The CONCACAF Gold Cup Final reaches its apex. Into the final 45. If we don't have a winner, we'll go another 30. And an early Panamanian foul. Thomas Christensen very simply said, this is every Panamanian's dream. They have arrived and they suffered in his estimation in that semifinal, a game where many felt they were the better team. After all, though, he says it's best savored when you've had to suffer for it. Gallardo curling in behind. Off that of Barcenas. Mexico is unchanged at the half. Barcenas recovers. Gallardo, the foul. Panama unchanged in the second half and unchanged from that. 120 minute fist fight semi final in San Diego. Ball recovered by Quintero. Trying to muscle off Vasquez, it's with Panama. Davis has assisted three goals in this tournament. To do so at this juncture would be one of the greater moments in Panamanian footballing history. Such are the stakes tonight. Davis on the free kick. That was Escobar rising over Romo. Alvarez. Orlando Mosqueda. Luis Mejia earned his 50th cap and goal in the third place game against Mexico in Nations League last month. And it's Mosqueda who started every game of this tournament. Ochoa. Ochoa has started every game for Mexico. Tonight is 143rd appearance, the age of 38. Native of Guadalajara, the standard bearer, seeking his fifth Gold Cup crown. All ricochets around Montez. Martin. Carasquilla had a hand extended into Pineda. There's 
A push after the fact. Davis. Mosqueda. A concern for Panama the longer this goes. They've conceded four goals in the 90th minute or later. In four of their five games. Kicked away from Diaz. Two changed the results. One turned a win to a draw. The other turned a win to a penalty kick shootout against the U.S. It's a foul from Edson Alvarez into the back of Karaskia. Karaskia has been just wonderful in this tournament. Has two assists to his name, but it goes so much deeper than that. Pass was intercepted. Bounce to Pineda. Bypasses Fajardo. Forward for Martin. Cummings filmed up the works. That goes through the mind. Quintero and Godoy have been this far before, have been this close before, a decade since the last final for Panama. A loss at Chicago's Soldier Field, the United States. Mosqueda. Could hold up play, Karaskia. Barcenas, Diaz, Karaskia. Hammers the switch, Davis settles. Godoy. Escobar. a calm to this Panama side. They were very good on the hold against the top four that did go to the World Cup from CONCACAF in the octagonal. They beat Canada and the United States. Picked up a pair of draws as well. Barcenas angles across. Open header off the mark from Quintero. If he scores, he's the oldest to tally in a Gold Cup final. Whether he was caught between two mines, or simply failed to put this on frame altogether remains to be seen. He had a run there. Davis. Diaz. Quintero. Up for Fajardo. Mexican fans that sold this venue out. Over 70,000 tonight. Luis Romo. Forward from Antuna. Sanchez swung it in. Godoy 
in position, but turned over. Laid off to Romo. Advantage played, the flex down to Karaskia. The run out is on for Panama. It's Quintero. Gallardo is carded. We've also gone back to this play. We've shown a yellow. Adalberto Carasquilla. They uh, allowed the advantage. And they allowed the play on the counter to go the other way. Carasquilla and Cummings on yellows one way. Gallardo, Vasquez, and Montes, three of the back four for Mexico on caution. Doesn't have the old world charm of the Rose Bowl, but SoFi Stadium has certainly proven it's got a good soul of its own. Davis chops it up. Uriel Antuna. Few in this region, faster with the ball at his feet, and he's bailed out by Eric Davis. Chavez. His plans to leave Pachuca for Europe fell through last year. It was the apple of everybody's eye after the goal he scored at the World Cup against Saudi Arabia. Alvarez. away from Martin, but it's right to Alvarez. Gallardo. Bounced off the back of Barcenas. Vasquez. Montez. Luis Romo. Antuna working off Sanchez. Antuna arrives, got the crossway, Martin heads down Alvarez. The late arriving Godoy saves the day. Gallardo, Barcenas, still Mexico on the ball. Chavez, Pineda. Alvarez. Romo widened out, sends the service to Pineda Martin there, but it's over the bar. And a corner for L3. You can see Pineda calling for it. It goes off of Escobar's outstretched leg. The push has arrived from Mexico, shy of an hour. Belin Pineda, Matias Almeida said he'll be great with a European club one day. Turns out he'd be his manager in Athens. It'll be Chavez. Off the head of Karaskia. Cummings leading. Karaskia scanning. Quintero looking for Diaz.
Diaz. Another yellow. Alvarez is the fourth Mexican on a yellow card. Martin, Cummings, Diaz. Mosqueda. Escobar. Mexico is buzzing now. Lozano wants to play as quick as he can. Changes. Anderson, the hero, off the bench for Panama in the uh, semifinal. That's it for the 35-year-old Alberto Quintero. Cecilio Waterman enters. Three goals in the octagonal, six goals in totality in World Cup qualifying in just 372 minutes. These are the first substitutions of the match for either team. Eric Davis comes off. Pineda. Foul. Oh, it's a second yellow. Cummings is off. There's the leg. He didn't get him. He did not touch him. Surely they'll look. Is it a case of mistaken identity? Did he get the wrong player? Was the intrusion by Cummings enough? Cummings saying, surely that's a dive. Thomas Christensen watching this all go up in smoke. Here's another look. Yellow card to Anibal Godoy. And all the while, in the aftermath, 
Fuming still on the field. They've taken away the yellow card and given it to Godoy. And now the Mexican players are incensed. It is still a free kick for Mexico. That is another enormous decision. Into the width, up for Martin. Deflected away down to Romo. Gallardo, Romo, header away, Cummings. Anderson got a piece. Martin turning at Mosqueda. Vasquez. That deflects timely to Pineda. Pineda header down to Mosqueda from Uriel Antuna. Panama better get control of this in a hurry. Mexico. A feeding frenzy. Held up by Ismael Diaz. Carasquilla. Turned over, it's Martin. Leading the charge. Pineda. Pineda! Sixty-seven minutes in, bouncing ball, Panama onto it, Diaz. No more. What an atmosphere, what an occasion. What drama. Still so much left to be decided. Pineda denied, Karaskia leading Barcenas. Anderson off of Anderson yeah. 
Godoy with Pineda peeling himself off the ground. Turned over to Godoy. Turning Waterman. Barcenas had her down at Ochoa from Fajardo. The listed capacity of the venue tonight does not do justice to the crowd that's been assembled. Just over 70,000 is the official capacity. 72,963. Panama looking for perhaps their most famous victory. Anderson inward. Karaskia through. Anderson is there, but Ochoa off his line. Anderson, Ochoa again bounced off Vasquez. And would any of it have counted? They say no. Ochoa is shaken up. Clearance grabbed by Panama. Karaskia won a free kick. The next goal is the most famous, perhaps, in Panamanian football history. Escobar over the ball. Escobar went for goal. An absolute lashing on his part. Mexico preparing changes. What a pendulum this has been.
Romo undercut. It's in for Uriel Antuna. Was replaced by Roberto Alvarado. Eric Sanchez is in. That's it for Luis Chavez. First two changes. Ball bouncing over the bar. Diaz instantly off the subs. With just the one header to open that up. What a spectacular finish that could have been. Maybe a chance for Pineda. Referee had a long look. Romo's recovered. Leads it off. First effort for Sanchez in the game. Less than 15 minutes remaining in the Gold Cup final. Skims off that of Diaz. He kept it in at the end line to his own detriment. Montez. Panama recover. Barcenas. Vasquez. Alvarez, Vasquez, Romo. Montez. gotten to the point now that failure may be fatal. Jorge Sanchez. Gallardo or Martin could see Santiago Jimenez sooner than later that position. Gallardo trying to break through. Instead, it's Pineda. Romo. Room to explore Alvarado. Sanchez. Alvarado, Sanchez, it's the option of Romo. Instead, Sanchez once more, 
through. Eric Sanchez off the ball. In from Gallardo, recovered by Anderson with the help of Godoy. Yes, they can. They know they can. They have, they will again. Pineda. Orbelin Pineda stabbed away. Gallardo. Mosqueda races. He kept it in and toe taps the edge of the penalty area. Edson Alvarez, Eric Sanchez. It's on for Pineda, leading Martin. Fajardo. Alvarez tracking. Fajardo got dumped, Carasquilla. Anderson. Anderson into Waterman. Escobar. Barsonis. Godoy. Carasquilla. Kept it from Sanchez. Andrade. Home and measured from Panama in the waning minutes. Escobar. Anderson. Ball to El Tree. Everything gets easier, Jaime Lozano said, when you wake up with a common objective. 10 from his Olympic bronze medal winning team. <laughs> may not be a band-aid. He may be the answer. Time will tell. Mosqueda. In behind. That's a foul from Fajardo. Vasquez. Way by Cummings. Mexico have two changes waiting in the wings. They'll come now. Santiago Jimenez features a Feyenoord. Martin's head drops. He now knows. He had 84 minutes to impact this game. Twice he thought he had. His goal in the 33rd minute wiped off because of his interchange in the buildup. The crowd hungry to see Jimenez will get his chance now. 
Menez won the Dutch title with a 15-goal campaign. Was not at the World Cup. Born in Buenos Aires. Developed the Cruz Azul. He said, I feel more Mexican than Argentinian, having grown up there. The son of Christian. Jimenez into Romo. Back to Gallardo all the way through and out the other side. And beyond the reach of Alvarado. Mexico probing for a winner with five minutes remaining. A foul from Jorge Sanchez. For Mexico, they could be elevated back to the top of this CONCACAF pantheon. Just two losses in 12 games since the World Cup, but one devastating in the Nations League finals to the U.S. The latter a stunner where they outshot Qatar by 30. The one shot they conceded was the one that undid them. Barcenas. Barcenas! It would have been a stunning winner. Ochoa seems so nonchalant. Lifted toward Romo, off the shoulder of Andrade, nothing more. Barcenas. Anderson for Waterman. Vital deflection back to Pineda. Jimenez battling. Jimenez breaks through. Santiago Jimenez! Gold Cup glory! Mexico lead! The chance one way, Alvarez, the vital intervention. Forward from Pineda, allow Jimenez to do the rest. Bounces off of Cummings. And a remarkably calm, concise finish. Number nine is within reach. And all Mosqueda can do is watch. Salvation 
for Jimenez and Mexico in this final in the 88th minute. Just his fourth international goal. It's all got to be forward now for Panama. This into the grasp of Ochoa. It's one thing to try and reach the summit when you've never been there. It's another to get back to the summit knowing what you've lost. The free kick from Carasquilla ripped away by Mexico. Launched toward Moscata. Five added minutes. In comes Azurias Londoño. Replaces the center back, Cummings, who was nearly sent off, but saved from a case of mistaken identity. Mexico preparing to bring on Israel Reyes. Not yet. May come now. Foul, Escobar. The change is now. That's it for Pineda. He opened up the play that led Mexico to what appears to be the winner. Alvarado. Carasquilla take it away. Sanchez! Nearly the dagger. A bouncing ball that Mosqueda just does get to. Gone short. That's all they'll get, Londoño. Two more minutes. Parasquilla, Montes, nearly through. Huge play by Sanchez. Barcenas overtaken by Alvarado. A throw for Panama. Off that of Londoño and to Ochoa. It was the fourth minute of the third place game a month ago. The Mexico got their winner. So with merely six minutes remaining. Did Mexico find their winner in the Gold Cup final? If Panama can't change this with a minute remaining. Free kick. Carasquilla telling Mosqueda, now's the time.
Mosquera forward, away from Londonio. Karaskia crashes in, throw Panama. Quickly down the line, lost to Romo. Jimenez taken back by Panama. Andrade gave it away. Jimenez on the breakaway. Jimenez tried to lay it off. Still not done. Barcenas, header down Karaskia. It would be miraculous now. Foul Montez. And Panama will have one final chance. Now or never, Mosqueda is forward. Score, it goes to extra time. Anything less, it's over. Karaskia forward. And that's it. No, a yellow. Still, it hangs in the balance. The referee gestured to the center circle. He's merely shown a yellow to Mosqueda. Insult to injury. And now it's done. Mexico, their ninth Gold Cup title. And Ochoa, his fifth. Mexico are back on top in CONCACAF in 2023. Panama so close. Their third ever final, but it's not enough. Santiago Jimenez, the winner for Mexico. Devastation for Panama. It felt like this was finally their year. But it's Mexico who reigns supreme once again with all the turmoil. Jaime Lozano has led Mexico to continental glory. Jimenez, the lone goal in the 88th minute. A clean sheet for L3. At full time. Mexico won, Panama nil, and Mexico atop CONCACAF once again, their ninth Gold Cup title.
Island, our CONCACAF Gold Cup champion will be crowned. But first, let's take a look at some of our standout stars who are not in attendance with us tonight, but brought the energy, determination, and unity of the game to the next level throughout the tournament. Gold Cup fans, we'd like to congratulate the top four of the 2023 CONCACAF Gold Cup. From the USA, the winner of the top four award presented by Qatar Airways is Jesus Ferreira. con palabras que se siente ser campeón orgulloso orgulloso de, del grupo orgulloso de mis compañeros eh, fue un torneo donde existió demasiada presión donde de repente se habla además de un grupo de, de futbolistas y de personas de mucha calidad con, con talento que tienen deseos de, de sobresalir de, de dar un paso al frente y mostraron mucha personalidad ante esta situación y bueno la recompensa es el, el título de hoy Eres el máximo ganador en Copa Oro. ¿Qué representa eso para ti y para tu carrera? Pues yo creo que para, para mí, sobre todo, un orgullo que un mexicano lo tenga. Ese, ese récord es lo más importante. Eh, es el resultado de, de esfuerzo, sacrificio, de dedicación, de trabajo, de constancia. Y bueno, he dedicado por supuesto a la afición mexicana, a mi familia que me aguanta y, y a mis compañeros que me ayudan. En la última, Jimmy Lozano se ganó su lugar, ¿están con él? Oh, bueno, yo creo que lo hemos mencionado desde el día uno. Eh, Jaime y Jimmy entienden muy bien lo que, lo, lo que es representar a México, entiende muy bien al futbolista, eh, le saca lo mejor a cada jugador y, y se ve reflejado en la cancha. En estos momentos, escribe. Eh, la verdad es indescribible, creo que lo único que siento... Es amor, pasión, porque por los que siempre están, que, que primeramente es Dios, mi familia y la gente, ¿no? Que hoy vinieron 75 mil personas y había que darles esta, co esta copa, había que regresar a la casa. Estoy muy emocionado porque, como había dicho antes, los tiempos de Dios son perfectos y ahí es donde viene a caer el gol, ¿no? ¿Cómo recuerdas la jugada del gol? ¿Cómo la fuiste tejiendo y qué sentiste cuando viste que la pelota entró en las redes? Pues primero cuando la tuvo Orbe, vi que salió un defensor y sabía que estaba mano a mano, eh, sabía que me la tenía que jugar y cuando cubrí el balón, eh, la apunté, eh, cuando me doy vuelta sabía que él ya estaba cansado y, y le tenía que ganar por velocidad y ya al final le pego un poco machucado, pero entró, es lo bueno. ¿Es la confirmación de que la selección ha cambiado la cara? Sí, sí, totalmente, eh, y no, no lo digo yo con palabras, se vio ahora con el título, con esta final, eh, cómo el grupo se unió y supo sacar esto adelante, es impresionante. Muchas gracias y toda la gloria para Cristo.
And now it's time to start the award ceremony of the 2023 CONCACAF Gold Cup. The award ceremony begins. Victor Montagliani, the president of CONCACAF. Johnny Infantino, the president of FIFA. Lead the dignitaries onto the stage. CONCACAF Gold Cup final sees Mexico poised to lift the trophy for the ninth time. Jesus Ferreira of the United States, the top scorer, the Fair Play Award, the United States. The best goalkeeper, the best player, the medals to be awarded. And not one of the 72,000 plus have left their seats yet. The best goalkeeper award presented by degree of the 2023 CONCACAF Gold Cup goes to Guillermo Ochoa of Mexico. Three days after his 38th birthday, the first player to attain five Gold Cups the best goalkeeper once again. His 25th appearance, a Mexican tournament record. Congratulations, Memo. One of a kind. And now he stands alone. The most now, lauded goalkeeper in Gold Cup history. Not only in the entire tournament, but also determined by tonight's match, your CONCACAF Gold Cup Best Player Award goes to and Alberto Carrasquilla from Panama. Sometimes the greatest representation of what you've achieved is how your opposition responds. Mexico lauding the effort of Alberto Carrasquilla. The golden ball, tears in his eyes. But what a month. It certainly changed his life. CONCACAF recognizes and honors tonight's match officials. Said Martinez has now risen to the top of the region as Carasquilla holds back tears for just one more moment. In 14 months, Said Martinez has worked the CONCACAF Champions Cup, the CONCACAF Nations League, the CONCACAF Gold Cup Finals. The 31-year-old with a limitless future. Walter Lopez, Christian Ramirez, Danian Parchment, Ricardo Montero, and Selvin Brown help to officiate tonight's final. A number of hugely difficult decisions, VAR, taking a goal away from Mexico in the 33rd minute that loomed large all the way to the 88th. The pinnacle of CONCACAF officiating. And now we honor one of the best teams of the tournament. Please congratulate the 2023 CONCACAF Gold Cup runners-up, Panama. Anibal Godoy leads Panama onto the stage. For the third time this country has finished runners-up. The past month and a half have done a lot to remedy the image of Panamanian football. Thomas Christensen, their third year manager, put it very succinctly. I don't like the word failure. We've done a lot right. And maybe, maybe the fruit of that labor comes now. An important evolution because the Federation trusted in this core of players, in this technical staff, to take Panama the heights they've never reached. Their place within CONCACAF ahead of the upcoming Copa America, the next Gold Cup, and yes, the North American World Cup is hardly in doubt now. And their place in that tournament 
while it must be earned, would hardly be surprising. A remarkable five years for Panamanian football, and it's only just begun. Quintero and Godoy for the second time, silver medals at the Gold Cup. A decade apart, but this time it does feel different. Thomas Christensen, a less resolute federation would have pulled the plug. Jaime Lozano was quite clear. The Mexican manager saying they've been rewarded for the process, for their belief. Ladies and gentlemen, after a historic month of football, we're ready to recognize the 2023 CONCACAF Gold Cup champions, Mexico! Mexico fell off their perch. The past three years have been daunting. A painful World Cup. Nations League and Gold Cup both passed them by in 2021. A month ago, dispatched by the United States in the Nations League semifinal, it makes this moment that much sweeter. If they choose to follow through with Jaime Lozano, who knows what lies in store? In just three years, Mexico will be jointly hosting the World Cup. They'll look over the next two years as CONCACAF champions. Their ninth title. Seemingly a rarity. One in which many dismissed the possibility. Panama provide an honor guard in their pain. They recognize the greatness that was Mexico on this night. Edson Alvarez, finally, gold draped around his neck. Jaime Lozano, remarkable. He took over this team having won an Olympic bronze medal. Now he's shaking hands with the president of FIFA. That man will have Lozano's future in his hands. Whatever his future is. It's only just begun for the 44-year-old who played in a final, lost a final in 2007. I promise this feeling isn't lessened by repetition. He entered the day, only Landon Donovan and Demarcus Beasley could say they also had won four Gold Cup titles. Memo Ochoa wins the Golden Gloves. He wins the crown. He has led Mexico back to the top. His fifth title. Another trophy left. Mexico, Gold Cup champions in 2023. Kings of CONCACAF once again. memo, no party. Right now, no problem. Seemingly still in his prime. Santiago Jimenez raises the trophy, having scored the winner in this Gold Cup final, just the fourth of his international career. And El Tri have restored their place. The best of the region.
a ninth Gold Cup title. Two more than any other country in CONCACAF. 41 member nations dream of this. 40 cast by the wayside. And now more than half of the Gold Cup trophies reside in Mexico's trophy case. Thank you. We hope you enjoy the 2023. And this party will continue for the 72,963 assembled. The 23 players, the dozen of support staff. Photos that'll last a lifetime. Memories forever etched. And the trophy forever engraved. Mexico claim the 2023 CONCACAF Gold Cup. Mexico ascends the throne once again. Truly remarkable. And SoFi Stadium, the colors of El Tree rise highest. Defeating Panama 1-0. Santiago Jimenez, the 88th minute winner. Memo Ochoa, another Gold Cup clean sheet. They raise the trophy highest amid the glimmering confetti in Hollywood. And suddenly, Hope springs eternal for Mexico once again. Half of this team played in the Olympics. Jaime Lozano, a number of them, including Cesar Montes, have said they want him to remain the manager. Much will be decided in the months to come. For a moment, no drama, no frustration, no anger, no disappointment, no disgust. Mexico can celebrate a vital title and return to CONCACAF supremacy with the young core determined to take Mexico further than they've ever been. of a sold out crowd of 72,963. Los Angeles sees another star rise back. A true comeback tale, one that could only be written and executed in Tinseltown. 
a record ninth Gold Cup title for Mexico. They defeat Panama in the 2023 Gold Cup final 1-0.